uh, my September favorites. And this month, um, it's barely getting into fall. We just started fall um, in Chicago, so and you can already feel fall here. It's like one day it's 70, then the next day it's like 60 or 50, so yeah. So, you know, uh, I'm trying to take advantage because I am so excited about fall. Fall is like my favorite season, like out of all the seasons. Sorry, excuse me here. So, yeah, um, super excited. So let's just get right into it. Um, first, I'm gonna start with this. Sorry if I'm looking down, but this is where I'm, I have my items right here on my lap. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna start with lotion, and it's this one by Victoria's Secret, and it's Midnight Mimosa, and oh, it smells so good. I got this, I believe, in the summer, and I barely started using it now because my skin is getting drier now that it's kind of getting cooler so this really helps I just put it on after um, my shower and it feels super smooth on my skin so yeah it's been really working um it says it's a mimosa flower and airy musk um it's just I don't know how to explain how it smells I suck at explaining scent but um it just smells like flowers and so refreshing and like spring, like spring in a bottle. I don't, but I'm just using it in fall. Um, I just, I love the smell. That's why I'm work, uh, working. That's why I'm using it and it is working for me um, now that it's um, beginning to get cooler. Um, so yeah, uh, next I'm going to start with uh, my face products. And actually, let me do brushes first. I have three uh, favorite brushes that I've been using a lot um, this month. And the first one is by Sigma, and it's the P84, and it's a precision angled one. And actually, I've been using this on my uh, under eye for my concealer. Um, I used this before I put foundation on, so I put concealer on first, and then I just go like this. And um, just like smudge it out and it leaves it so smooth and it just works wonderful okay and then the second brush that's been my favorite one um, it's this one by elf and um, it's the blush brush and I actually haven't been using it for blush what I use this for is for a highlighter and it's just like perfectly just sweeps under and it just works amazing and it's only three dollars so yeah I loving that and then the last one is the um the one by real techniques uh, and it is the expert face brush right yeah and I use this for foundation it's just so small and I like how it's stoned and like super super smooth on the skin and it's just like it it's like the perfect buffing brush for your face so I've been using this for foundation um and then the next one, I mean, that's the last brush. And then um, foundation. The one I've been using this month is the one by Makeup Forever, the HD one. And I am in the shade N153. Yeah. And I love this foundation. It's in its pump, so it's like perfect. And it is very, I for me, it's full coverage. Like, it's medium to full coverage. You can actually build it up, but it's really good quality. I really recommend that foundation. It's, like, the best. Um, and then for concealer, the one I use with the this brush, the P84, um, I use the concealer by Maybelline, and it's a Fit Me in um, number 25 medium. And it's just a perfect concealer and it's this one right here it goes on very smoothly and it doesn't crease and it's just perfect um let's see what else makeup related I have a lot of makeup related stuff so, um I'll just grab something and go a little basket <laughs> um the blush I've been using this whole month like literally every day is the one at MAC and it's warm soul and it's this gorgeous color. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's beautiful. I love it. And I actually super pimped it. It's right here. 
So like I was saying, sorry, my camera cut off, so I had to start <laughs> again. But um, yeah, I was talking about Warm Soul by Mac. Um, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but um, I'm actually that's actually what I'm wearing today. And like I said, I've been wearing wearing it nonstop. Uh, if you hear a baby or something, it's my baby. He just woke up from his nap, so he's right here just watching me again. So anyways, um, yeah, this is a beautiful color for fall, and it's like an everyday blush. So yeah, um, the next thing I have, um, let me see, let's go with, um, highlighter. Highlighter I've been using is from the Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette. And it's the palette that comes with the bronzer and a highlighter and a blush. absolutely love this palette. But, um, I'm currently just using the highlighter right now. That's obviously, that's why it's my favorites, right? So let me just swatch it up for you guys. And it's beautiful, beautiful highlighted. It is so pigmented, as you guys can see. And it is, it is so gorgeous. Like, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's more beautiful, like, once you try it on. So, um, if you want to try it out, go to Sephora or something. And then you'll, you guys will see how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. Um, the eyeshadow I've been using, it's the Wet n Wild. And it is the color, the color Nutty. And it has this gorgeous taupey brownish color. And I love Wet n Wild um, eyeshadows. They're just so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see. I have. My skin is so like brownish. <laughs> you can hardly see these colors. But um, it is beautiful. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my lids today. And I just wear it all over my lids. And this is the only one I have on. And then on my eyebrow, I just wear like a high, um, a lighter brow color. I'm actually, the one I'm wearing is also by Wet n Wild. And it is the cream brulee one. I love that one too. It's my top favorite. Um, and then for mascara, I've been using the Real by Benefit. And I love this mascara. I think I'm, I'm gonna buy the full size. And I actually like the brush. It's just a good mascara overall. And it's also what I'm wearing today. And then let's go talking to lipstick products. I mean lip products. Um, first one, it is a lip butter. And it's by Nivea. And it's the um, Raspberry Rose Kiss one. And I don't even want to show you guys. Because it is so gross. I'm sorry. I just, I just go like that. So I don't... I I don't like these type of things like where you have to dip your finger and then put it on you. But this one is big enough that I don't have to do that. I just, you know, go like this. That's why it's like a little dent in the middle. But this works. I usually wear this like when I'm starting doing my uh, makeup. So when I'm ready to pull lipstick on, they're already moisturized and stuff. So they won't look all like cracky and just gross when you put um, lipstick on. And then talking about lipsticks, um, the first one I have is by Revlon, and it is one of their new ones. Um, it is 850 Plum Velour, and it is so gorgeous, as you guys can see. Let me swatch it for you guys. I'll swatch it right here so you guys can see. And it's this beautiful color. Plumish kind of berry color. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it Definitely one of my favorites and then the next one that I am actually wearing on right now It is by covergirl and it is the 360 Eporia one And it's this burgundish kind of color too And these are so pigmented It's so beautiful gorgeous and that is the one I'm wearing on my lips today and then also um for like if I'm not if I don't want to go all out like on the lips like today and I just want like a simple look but like or more on the eyes and settle on the lips um this is the one I'm going for um this whole month yeah it, if it's not this color or the other one it was this one by MAC and it is kind of sexy and it's a matte finish and it's this gorgeous like peachy color peachy pinky but it's more on the peach side it's so beautiful i love it 
this is like a everyday type of lipstick so it's beautiful and then for lip gloss like if I want to not so matte because the MAC one it's a matte finish if I don't want it to mattified um, I'm using this one the NYX and it's the color in beige this gorgeous pink color it's so beautiful this is actually like the only NYX lipstick I have I mean lip gloss I have and um I don't know why the other ones just don't grab my attention but I'm thinking of going and checking them out but this is a swatch right there so beautiful too and then the last but not least nail polish and this is by wet and wild and this is such a fall essential color and it's haze of love uh two 215b it's so beautiful isn't it actually i I don't have this on my nose. My lips look like crap right now. But I am going to put this on my nose next again. I can't. I just can't get tired of this color. Like, It's just so gorgeous. But um, yeah guys. That is all I have for this month. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to see more videos. Please subscribe. It would mean the world to me like always. Bye.